Hope you're all still awake. A late night mega here. And tonight, Hale Habano in Canada. We're searching for Canada. Uh, that was a reference to a song. No, absolutely no one is going to get that reference. No one. There's only four. Death Road to Canada. That is entirely what we are on right now. So I'll give you guys... I'll give you guys some hints to try and guess where that was from. It probably doesn't help that I mispronounced probably every word in there. Oh, this is a death road. This, the scenery, uh, aesthetically, it almost reminds me of something from Vandal Hearts. In that game, we were on the highway to hell. Hell Spites. That's the name of the film. Uh, that is not how tadpoling works over there. You can't just float your way out of water like that. Crystal Joes, of course Crystal Joes would be in Canada. Because they're like the worst enemy. Oh, well, they're one of the worst enemies. They do so much damage. That's not Canadian-like. No, oh, hey. Speaking of someone who's not Canadian-like... Okay, I wanted you to get over here. Do I have weapons? Oh, I do have weapons. Canadians don't like snakes. Or something. I mean, the snakes don't even really... Go die in the cold. Uh... Uh, well, that was a stage. It was a bit too on the short side for me to give it a thumbs down, but uh, I like what was there. Um, anyways, the song reference I made. It's a video game song reference. I know, that really narrows it down, right? Um, okay, it's a video game for the N64. I still don't even think that's specific enough. Um, and it has multiplayer capabilities. So leave a comment in the comment section if you know what I referenced at the beginning of this video. Uh, and if you're right, I don't know, I'll, I'll pin your comment. I'll, I'll love it and tell you you're right. It's YouTube. What, what can I offer you as a prize? Wasn't I, like, offering it, me jumping into a mud pit in the last episode, in the fun episode? Because we were getting punched in the Wipeout show? Yeah. I'm not really offering that, by the way. Alaskan Mega Man gets banished to the dimension of Canada. <laughs> by Callum, buddy. Yeah, we're going to play this one. Actually, we only have four stages that have Canada in the title. So, who knows? We might get to all of them today. As long as I actually, like, work on loading up the levels and instead of just rambling about incoherent songs that may or may not even have the word Canada in it. But when I play the game, I, I, I'm not, like, making fun of the music or... or other cultures or anything. I I actually enjoy a lot of the music from uh, the game I was referencing. But to me, it, it sounds like it says Canada in it. So, naturally, if someone tells me we're going to do some searches for Canada, I'm going to, you know, sing the Canada song. I, I don't know. Does Canada have to have so much loading time here? Wow, I had to cut some loading time out of that. Why does the dimension of Canada take so long to load? Oh, this is why, because we designed this very poorly. Oh, yeah, this we had to load all these yo chi cheese Or Canadian cookies in this episode now. We have nine billion enemies. Come on, Canada doesn't have this many people. I think we have to go up. I think I broke the scrolling. Oh, 
Well, this dimension of Canada just kind of sucks. Oh, there's our... There's an energy element there. What in the world? What is any of this that's going on right now? How am I landing on anything? This is the bizarre dimension of Canada, of course. It goes right along with the song I was singing. I... Okay, absolutely none of this is what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting from a stage called Alaskan Mega Man Gets Banished to the Dimension of Canada, but it certainly wasn't any of this. What's all this emptiness for? I passed an energy element, which would be our ticket to get out of this evil, nasty... These backgrounds don't even go together. Dimension of Canada. There's nothing here. Why is any of this a thing? I, I've run out of things to comment on. We're just sliding and sliding and sliding. We're waiting to do the polar plunge. Which, if you don't know what that is, because I actually went to uh, a school that's, like, right on the border of Canada. Um, uh, when I went to college. College is, like, right on the border to Canada. And they do this thing, like, in the middle of January or February, when it's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside, sometimes even colder when you factor in the wind chill. There were wind chills like up to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit um, when I was there. They were kind of, it was, it wasn't frequent, but it wasn't unusual. Uh, but anyways, they do this polar plunge thing where you go outside in these temperatures, these zero degree to negative 10 degree Fahrenheit temperatures and they go to the the lake and they cut this hole out and of course there's tons of like medical personnel and stuff because obviously this is a somewhat dangerous thing to do um, with shocking and cold and so hey enemies you can do stuff more Canadian cookies too he's so full of cookies do I have weapons? I don't have weapons. I have Canadian cookies. Um, and what you do is you get in your swimsuit and, like, no shirt and everything, and you jump into the cold water on this lake that's frozen, and you're standing on this cold ice, and you jump into and submerge yourself in this absolutely frigid water. And it's like a thing that Canadians do. I never did that when I was at that college because I absolutely, I don't like the cold and the snow at all. It kept me indoors a lot, we'll put it that way. And people are like, well, why did you go to that college? Well, I got a uh, free, oh, we have stuff I need to actually pay attention to now. I, I got a uh, full four year tuition scholarship. We're going to overload this game so badly right now. I make no apologies for this because this is just how it was designed. Uh, I wonder, if I plow into this group of passively aggressive, angry Canadians here, will I be hit Will Mega Maker consider it me being hit by multiple enemies at a time, and I just instantly die? I I don't know. A, I had to throw that in there. Um. So yeah, I I don't like the cold stuff. So I I went because I had the the scholarship. Because that seemed like a pretty decent financial decision. Um. I'm going to be really upset if we get to the end of wherever we're going and we can't actually... I gotta, I gotta wait for this crap to leave.
Please go away. Oh, I don't need to worry about taking damage. I have Canadian cookies here. They're slightly less laggy now that all those passive-aggressive Canadians are gone. Um, see, I never did the polar plunge thing when I was there. And when I went back home, um, I did... It was a couple years after that that, uh... That cold water challenge thing was a thing. I I mentioned that somewhere on the channel before. Yeah, at uh, in in my Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. Where's my Canadian cookies? I might need those again. Get out of here. Uh, and now we're back to sliding. I'd be really upset if I can't exit the stage after all of this traveling through the dimension of Canada. Uh, but the cold water challenge where it came out, out in, like, early springtime, which where I live meant, like, 40 to 50 degree Fahrenheit weather. Okay, we can we can get out of here. We didn't find Iceman. We can't get out of here because the stage is poorly designed. Okay, well, I consider this... We played the full stage. We're done. Wait, maybe Iceman's behind, uh... Or Alaskan Magnet. And he's behind that. No, you can't even go through that. We're done. <laughs> We're done. We need to do some other things in Canada. Uh, but the cold water challenge thing where you submerge yourself in uh, a body of cold water outside when it was like 40 to 50 degrees. I was like vehemently opposed to this idea. Uh, Canada needs a thumbs down. Come on. But I, I went... I my friends were able to talk me into it. I still know how they managed to do that, and I, I did end up doing that. That that itself was a freezing uh, cold experience. Like, we went and we ran, we jumped in this lake, lake, submerged ourselves in this lake, and I ended up... There we go. And I ended up being... Like, my legs were so cold, they were shivering the rest of the day. And I went home and I covered myself in blankets and, and watched some YouTube, probably some Dr. Novocaine. Um, Hangman travels to Canada. What's this? Chill Out Man. Secret Lab of Canada by Minecraft Stray Fanboy. Yeah, that's just what we need. A strain... A, a strain... A stray fanboy from Minecraft, eh? Now we're using Chill Man's theme. We're... Canada cookies. And other Canadians that I dislike. Is this all this is? Don't tell me this is just... It's just a battle. With a hardly different room. Yeah, make him super... Why do I need an E-Tank? I know why I need an E-Tank. This is what we're doing. Let's see if I can kill... Kill Crystal Man before I run out of E-Tanks. And M-Tanks. Yeah, that wasn't hard. Oh crap, I have a stage to play through. I just wasted two E-Tanks for that. Whatever. Okay, that is poor design. There is no reason you should ever have a ladder like that. And, uh... Yeah, we're still doing this. So, I better play well. Is the lesson. Because why not? We started something. We may as well finish it. You should never have... A ladder like that that goes up and just instantly kills your player because they happened to not go the right way but clearly when we apply the uh, phrase when you go the right way you can't go wrong you gotta go the right way uh, we went the right way and it was fine but that's poor design speaking of poor design I heard poor design oh I like how that's like blocking laser okay this wasn't a stage this was three boss battles you're weak to this same logic applies.
Okay. I was gonna say, we'll do a challenge where if I, every time I take a hit, I use an E tank or an M tank, and if I run out of them and take a hit, then I die. And I wasn't gonna offer that because that sounds ridiculous, and if I offer that at the start of doing that nonsense, uh, I know the stage would have morphed and turned, and that idea would have just instantly backfired on me, and I would have lost, and then I'd die, and then I'd restart the stage, and I'd not have all those E tanks. So, um,. I don't know why this has a thumbs up. It was literally just three boss battles, hardly any stage, no enemies, uh, traveling to Canada. This is the last thing we have to do by X shirt. I'm not wearing an X shirt. I'm actually wearing a Mega Man shirt right now. Go figure, right? I only have like four Mega Man shirts. I'm gonna load it up right away. And it does. It's it's natural Mega Maker. You have to. We have infinite wind. It is windy in Canada now. <laughs> and and shine. Oh, why are we traveling to Canada like this? This is the worst way to travel to Canada. That is the worst way to travel to Canada. <laughs> why do I want to travel to Canada like this? Because you have to be, like, not completely in the thing. Um, Mega Man Buddy? I am not going to attempt to explain anything that's happening anymore. Canada is just weird, okay? This is the challenge I don't... Oh, wait. Never mind, we're good. This is the challenge I don't like. Oh, I should have, like, when I did the bounce, switched to shine and shined my light. Shined my Canadian light. Uh, this needs weapon refill for the shine. Because you can very, you know, easily run out of it. We have infinite wind for whatever reason. I've already mentioned that, but I'm just kind of realizing it again. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, you people. Silly Canadians. No, actually, the Canadians that I went to school with, because naturally, like, half of the students were Canadian. Uh, they're actually very nice people. They do do the A thing, though, all the time. They can't help it. Let's see, we can get that. Cats, take that. Go off to Canada. There's no reason for me to do that. What in the world? I have shine. I dislike that room. I can't articulate why right now, but I dislike it. Yeah, I dislike it. Don't tell me I have to pay attention to the right side. Last Canada level. We gotta, we gotta do this. Nah, that's not what we gotta do. Get out of here with your Canada. Hey, I found Charge Kick. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to do too. Yeah, no, we're doing this. Why would I go through the difficulty of? that challenge when I can just skip it all. And now we're going to go back. Hi. This level's so weird. So weird. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Get everything out of here. I don't know how to get to the gate. I'm gonna die. I checkpointed. I'm gonna die. I unlocked the gate somehow, and I checkpointed. Screen transitions are obviously insanely awful here. That's not what I wanted. I've lost all sense of what's going on here. This is not how you use Galaxy Man teleporters. This is not how you design a stage. It's an insult to Canada is what it is. This has been a really amusing episode, though. <laughs> I had fun. Oh, um... Canadians. Kill you yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Passive aggressive way to kill Canadian uh, metal man. <laughs> uh, well, we have done all the canisters. That's that's a thumbs down. That was there was so much bad design in that. I didn't thumbs up any of these stages. People need to make some better Canada stages. That's what that means. And with that, I'm gonna see you next time before my channel gets canceled for being too offensive. <laughs>